let's start with the book. This was a book that was written by a woman named Rivka Solomon, who is a theater artist and a writer, who um, went online, I don't know, she went to a party at one point and she made a joke. Somebody was saying she had done a really bold thing and she said, oh, that takes ovaries. And everybody in the party thought it was hilarious and she woke up in the middle of the night and realized, I could make that into a book. It is a series of interviews and um, interviews and stories of women who did, um, who shared their stories of courageous and bold acts, you know, impacting other people's lives. Then her associate, Bobby Ozabel, who is a theater artist from dating, she was one of the first feminist theater artists in the United States. She worked out of Cambridge at a theater called Caravan Theater. She and Rivka collaborated to put it into a play form. And then Bobby has gone all over the world doing workshops to try to embolden women. I talked to the others. 
dozens of us decided to voice our complaints, we went to the supervisor as one united front. She told us, if you walk off, you're not getting paid. <laughs> that was it. We had it. You pressured us to perform sexual acts that were not a part of the job description. We've been here since 11 a.m. And it's now 3 in the morning. You are going to pay us. In the end, with 50 women crowding around her, the supervisor gave in. She paid us. Woo! <laughs> I had a very dirty car, so there's a lot of dust. You know, some people like to ride on cars. Um, I had a message on there one day that was just like, I like balls. I was like, uh, <laughs> and, um, my sister actually knew the guys that did it and told me about it. And the next day at school, I heard that she actually physically hit one of them. <laughs> and, um, I love my sister for being able to stand up for me in a way that I always don't think I can stand up for myself. I was talking with the wonderful Amy Beach here, and I think that we sort of talked about no one should be able to tell you how to live your life, and you should be able to make choices for yourself and do what you want to do, and it's better to live a bold life than to live a life full of fear and worry for others' judgment, and it's too short a life to let others make your decisions for you. What happened, I had a friend who was very, very shy, and barely spoke to anyone and there was this kid who started badgering her and I don't, I don't even remember what he was saying but I was sitting there and I was just getting angrier and angrier and apparently I said something like well you know what you stink really bad like something horribly <laughs> like not a good comeback at all but he was just like so taken aback that I was like so angry and like you know that he uh he forever, whenever he like was about to do that, I'd stare at him kind of like that, and he would just be like, okay, okay. And my friend Anna, she saw the, she told me this like really recently that that moment gave her the strength to just say what she wanted to say and do what she wanted to do. On a small scale and a large scale, if you're not, if you don't, if you're not bold and you don't take action, how are you going to make a change for those? We need the change, and I think it's important to be bold to encourage other people to be bold. Women in Iran now are being arrested for the kinds of things that we in this country fought for. They want the right to possibly have their children in a divorce and all kinds of things like that. And they are being jailed, put in solitary, their computers are smashed, they've lost their jobs, and they're trying to get a million signatures. They call it the million signature event. They go door to door asking people to say that in fact we would like women to have equal rights and they're suffering terribly, terribly for this. And that's what happened in this country about a hundred, less than a hundred years ago, is that um, the context is that these women are very brave. That's what I want to say, is they're bold. And that's really what we're about.